Hey guys, it's Whitney. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have another speed build for you guys. Today we're actually going to be working on an apartment renovation. This apartment is one of the apartments in St. Myshuno and it is located in the Spice District. The way that I see the three dis the three different districts in St. Myshuno, the Spice District to me is like the district that is more low income. Um, this is where you have your more affordable housing but it does like come with like its problems like a lot of the apartments here are need TLC apartment or they just have traits that are less ideal and then when it comes to the other district which is I think it's the fashion district I feel like that's like where you find like your local artists and stuff like that and then the last district is the financial district to me it's like one of the more like wealthier parts of San Marcino but I kind of see the spice district especially the apartments in the spice district as the perfect place for a single sim who is just moving out on their own to move into and I think that's kind of what it's implied in the game anyway because usually these apartments they only come with like one or two bedrooms so it's kind of already implied that this is like the perfect place for a single sim I also believe like if you renovated it differently because I think I have done a renovation of this apartment before and I turned it into an apartment that was able to fit two bedrooms and it was kind of like a single dad's apartment I'll put a link to that video if you haven't seen it down below in the description but my idea for this apartment is that it's just a single sim a young adult sim that has just moved out on their own and they have hopes and dreams and aspirations of making it big well in particular the sim that I had in mind is someone who moved to San Marcino with the hopes of working for one of the greatest restaurants that's in San Marcino and then maybe one day owning their own restaurant in San Marcino but of course they have to start off with humble means and they've just like moved into this apartment and it's not like the best apartment it's not the fanciest apartment but in my mind I feel like the person that's moved into this apartment they're just making the best out of their current situation I included the backpack here in like the little hallway or like the entrance way of the apartment because I don't know maybe you could even like have this be a young adult who is going to university here in San Marcino. Of course they don't have like an actual university in San Marcino but sometimes I don't like to play in like Foxbury or, or like or Britchester. I think that's what the actual world is called and like sometimes I like to pretend that maybe my sims go to a university in whatever world they go to and so usually I'll just have my sims stay home and like maybe they're going to like a community college or something but also the backpack could be for the fact that they live in San Marcino and so most likely they'll be doing a lot of walking most likely like you know in like bigger cities it's kind of common for people not to really drive their own cars because they can get stuck in traffic and I think in larger cities I think it's pretty common that you either walk around or you take like some form of public transportation so I just thought like for a sim like that who just moved into the city they might find it convenient instead of like having a purse or just a wallet it might be convenient convenient to walk around with a backpack I don't know let me know if you live in like a larger city if that's like pretty common thing to do like have a backpack and you kind of carry like everything that you might need for the entire day in your backpack I don't I'm currently not in school well I do school but I'm doing it online and I also don't live in a large city but I still find it really convenient to walk around or to go anywhere with a backpack because I pretty much carry like even if I might not need it I'm the type of person I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared so I like just bring a bunch of like unnecessary stuff and just carry things around in a backpack. I think I mentioned this earlier in this video but I had the in mind that I wanted the person who lived in this apartment to maybe have the aspiration of becoming a chef and maybe even opening their own restaurant up one day and I kind of wanted to put a lot of attention into this kitchen. I think it's pretty realistic that when you move into an apartment usually the apartment comes with its own counters and its own like sink and stove and refrigerator and stuff I don't know like in some cases I'm pretty sure you might be able to like buy your own stove and refrigerator but in my mind I feel like the person who just moved into this apartment they moved into an apartment that that stuff already comes with it and I think it's all I, th I wanted to use these counters in the stove and the fridge that came with city living because I like the way that they kind of look beat up and that's kind of like what I wanted this apartment to look like like maybe they have had many people who have lived here because I feel like with 
this being a more like lower income housing type of thing like maybe you just have like situations where people just aren't able to make their rent so they have to like move from place to place or maybe like this is just like a place where it's like kind of like a, a middle ground like this is something like this is an apartment where young adult sims like they move here because it's convenient but then when they reach a certain level of like security or they start accomplishing their goals they kind of move out so I feel like I wanted the kitchen and like the things in the kitchen especially like the counters and stuff to look a little bit beat up but the decorations in the kitchen kind of represent the aspirations of this sim who one day dreams of opening their own restaurant one day most of the time when I'm decorating the apartments or any of my builds, I usually just like scroll through like the build by catalog and especially like the clutter and I just grab anything that catches my eye. And one of the things that caught my eye was the little umbrella caddy thing that I put right in front of the door because I feel like I never ever really use that. And then like I'll be seeing Sims like when it's raining and they'll have like their umbrellas and then my Sims, they just get wet. And it's like I could prevent that by getting the umbrella thing that comes with seasons and getting them their own umbrella and I think it would be really cute because you can like pretty much pick what umbrella you want but I don't know I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and get it in this one because I feel like it's one of those features that you kind of forget exists in game because it doesn't really come with any like actual consequences except for that your sims just get uncomfortable because they're wet and it's like oh well you'll just have to suffer through it for a while until like you get dry eventually you will or eventually you'll like get, get another mood buff and you'll be in a good mood in a few minutes and I also thought it would be fun to have like the little postcard thing because I feel like that's another feature that I don't really play with a whole lot and I feel like the sim who moved here I feel like they're kind of like moved out on their own like maybe they've moved kind of far away from their hometown and maybe they are just like craving some type of social connection they want to like make friends or so of some sort and build relationships and maybe one way they see themselves doing that is by like finding pen pals or something like that and of course they're gonna like try to make friends in the actual city that they're living in currently but I think the pen pal and like the postcards is just a feature in the sims that I feel like maybe a lot of people have a tendency to forget about and I feel like finding and reconnecting with these old features it kind of like livens up the game a little bit more I find when I do like these smaller apartment renovations I have a tendency to do things that I don't normally do when I'm doing other types of builds for example in the kitchen I use a lot of like if you use the control and press nine and zero key you can kind of like move things up and down and place items that normally don't place like example the wine bottles that I put on top of the fridge you normally can't place those things there and also the spice rack that I was able to place on the shelf you can't normally place it on the shelf and I don't really know why I, usually I think like most people they place their spices on a shelf in their kitchen but so it doesn't really make any sense why you can't like place it there but I wanted to place it there and I don't usually do that because it can be really time consuming especially like making sure it's not floating and like sitting up on an object awkwardly but I find that when I'm doing an apartment renovation I kind of like have more time because they don't take as long to do things that I don't normally do in like a typical build I even included like little light switches I don't usually put light switches in all of my rooms when I'm doing like house builds or something like that because it's like I'm just like more focused on getting the house furnished and it's a lot more things like a lot more rooms to furnish than an apartment but like when I'm doing in an apartment build I'm able to look at those little small details a little bit more with this build I think I used a lot of different kits I used the everyday clutter and bathroom clutter kits of course I feel like I've been using them in pretty much every single one of my builds lately and I think maybe I need to like challenge myself to not use those kits because I find that like I don't know it's like a crutch for me now like I have to use those kits in every single one of my builds because they like add those like everyday items that like you use every single day in your life and they aren't in any of the like regular basic like packs they're only in these kits I also use this table that I can't I think it came with the industrial loft kit and I don't usually use this table as a dining room table and I I really like this table actually and I think I might use it a little bit more it's something that I don't know it's like one of those things that I kind of forget exists maybe because it doesn't really look like a dining table at first because I don't know maybe it, I think it could also be really used as like an island like maybe like one of those islands that you that don't really come with the kitchen but you can like purchase it and like one of those books that 
they put in the mail where you can like buy furniture and stuff like that and i think this dining table is like perfect for a young adult that just moved into an apartment of their own because i don't even see them using the dining table like that very often anyway maybe if they have like their friends come over they can use it but i really just see them like using that space to just put stuff on and then i also decided to like have my sim like be a cat owner like maybe like they brought their cat with them like on their journey to live on sandwich unit alone like they had like it's like their childhood cat and they brought with them and when living in sandwich unit i just feel like the cat is a better pet to live in these apartments i don't know i think before i saw somewhere that they were going to fix that glitch but i know like from experience when i had like a dog for one of my sims living in these apartments like the dog would never like go outside on their own to use the bathroom and I would literally have to get my sim to pick up the pet and take them outside so they could use the bathroom or else they would just use the bathroom inside the apartment and that was kind of annoying and I also feel like it's pretty realistic like for an apartment this size you wouldn't want to like have like a really big dog so I think like having a cat is like perfect for this apartment and I also want it to include a lot of shelving and I wanted to make sure that I didn't put too much stuff on the actual shelves like I think I did add some clutter items to the shelf but but for the most part, I wanted to leave it bare. And also the table, that I think it came from cats and dogs. And I really like that table because it kind of looks like it's something that was like handmade. And a lot of the furniture in this build, I kind of used it because it kind of does look like something that you could like order online and it can be like shipped in the box and you like put it together yourself and also they have like the flea markets here in San Marcino so I don't know maybe the person who lives here they kind of frequent the flea markets because I feel like it's pretty realistic w with people's like living situations that they don't have like the perfect aesthetic for their apartment they kind of like buy their furniture as they go so they don't really buy like whole sets of things and things don't always match and look perfect and i just see the person living in this apartment like whenever there is a flea market in the spice district i feel like they go to every single one and they find furniture that they like and i feel like they are still kind of developing and growing as a person so you don't really have a set aesthetic and they just like buy things that they like and look good to them and even though it doesn't matter in the game i like to think of like furniture that would be pretty realistic it's realistic to pretty much haul up into this apartment like I feel like this apartment I think it's like at least four stories up and I feel like in this apartment it's pretty common that maybe the elevator breaks down quite frequently so most of the time you have to use the steps so I wanted to use furniture that looks like it could either be have been have like built by hand like I feel like the bed that I used in the bedroom it looks like one of those bids that you kind of like have to put together yourself and so that's why I thought it would like be perfect for this apartment and I also use like this like this end table that came with city living because it just kind of looks like one of those tables that fold up if you need it to because I feel like that's another thing that you want to think about when you have an apartment this size like how are things going to fit into this apartment how can I like make the most out of this space as possible. I use things like the counters that came with city living in the kitchen and also the wallpaper that came with city living and I also use some of the like wall decals that came with for rent and I even think there were some wall decals from like I think maybe the vampire pack that kind of make the wall look a little bit beat up and scruffed up and I also use like that big bicycle decal I think that came from industrial loft kit because I wanted the apartment to look like like people have lived here and yes their walls might be a little bit beat up and scruffed up but I feel like the person who is moved into this apartment like they're very excited to be moving out and living on their own so even though the apartment isn't the perfect place it's not like maybe social media perfect or anything like that but to them it's like home it's their first home and I feel like they're very proud of it and they're just trying to like make the best out of their situation and this little storage chest it came with discovery university and i think i don't really use it that often but i really like it um especially like the little stickers on the front of it i don't know if it's still glitchy or not i know like 
I've had in the past had experiences of putting stuff in it and like the stuff like deleting especially like pictures like I used to put like a lot of my son's pictures in the chest and like the pictures would like go blank I hope that it doesn't happen anymore because I like the idea of like your sim living in this apartment and like them collecting memories of Sam Ishino like pictures and stuff and like putting them putting the ones ones that they don't have space for on their shelves or on their walls and like putting it in the storage bin and then like the storage bin is one of the things that they take with them as they move and like maybe one day they move out of San Marcino and like into the suburbs or something and start a family and like their children find this chest with their mom's old pictures and stuff like that and I think that's like really cute and I also included a tv in the bedroom which is something that I don't normally do but I think it's pretty realistic that people have tvs in their bedroom I know it's like not healthy and it's like recommended that you don't have a tv in your bedroom but I think it's like pretty realistic that you have like everyone pretty much has a tv in their bedroom and then I also like the idea like of having like a lot of books in this apartment and I kind of see like this person who lives in this apartment because they are kind of I don't think they're a loner but they're still trying to like make friends and get to know the people in their community and the city and they just like kind of get absorbed into books and maybe like they kind of like have this rose colored view of like their experience or what their experience would be in San Marcino based on like books and they're kind of like I don't know I feel like they might have like this experience as they're trying to like figure things out in the city like they might have like this realization that like their young adult life maybe isn't what they thought it would be but I feel like they're kind of like able to kind of like live through the experiences of the people that they read about in their books and reading is just another one of those features that I don't really think about or use a whole lot in my game I feel like when my sims fun goes down I feel like it's just easier to get them to just watch tv on the television or like play on their phone or something but I like the idea of having a sim that's really into reading books and they just spend a lot of their time reading and spending a lot of time in like their really cozy apartment with their cat another thing that I think I want to talk about with this build is the lighting I feel like it's pretty realistic with these types of apartments that you're not going to have the best lighting and you're also not going to have like the best view I feel like a lot of times in these kinds of apartments like they put the windows in like the worst places and one thing I actually forgot that you could do I thought it was like a glitch and that they were going to fix it but apparently they haven't because I was doing this build and I actually bulldozed everything because I this isn't like the first time I did this build the first time that I did did this build I pretty much got like halfway through the build because like I mentioned it's an apartment renovation and they don't really take that long but I realized that none of noth nothing recorded nothing you couldn't see anything except for like the home page of my internet browser because I actually did not use OBS which is what I usually use to screen record and I was using something else because for some reason the OBS wasn't working on my laptop which is where I did this build instead of my PC because I just didn't feel like sitting at my desk to work on the build. I kind of wanted to just be able to lay back on the couch and work on a build and I was using a different program and nothing recorded. So I bulldozed everything and the windows went with it and I was like oh no what did I do? How am I going to fix this? I can't have an apartment without any windows. I thought it was like some type of glitch or something when I hit bulldoze and like the windows left and I thought something was wrong but apparently that glitch is I don't even know if it's a glitch I don't even I don't think they ever said anything or mentioned anything about it that they were going to update the San Marcino apartment so that you could edit the outside windows but anyway I'm very grateful that you can because I really didn't like the original windows in this apartment I felt like for this apartment size I've just felt like it was just too many windows in this single apartment and I feel like in these types of apartments like the lighting isn't that great anyway I think for most of the lighting in this apartment I use like the base game lights and I feel like the base game lights are like notoriously known for not being that good like they're very yellow and dim and I think you can change them like by changing the intensity and also the light color but I chose not to because I really like like the yellowy lights anyway even in real life I don't like those bright LED lights I prefer like the more yellowy light bulbs I don't know if that makes sense or not but that's like the light bulbs that I typically choose to use and I also prefer like lamps over big ceiling lights 
because I just feel like they can be a little bit overwhelming and I feel like smaller lamps and like the yellowy lights they're more like cozier and that's kind of like the vibes that I wanted to give off with this apartment that no it might not be like the best apartment ever it might not be the apartment that you wanted but I feel like the sim in this situation like they really just want to make this place feel like home and like it's their home for now and they want to make like the best of that home as they can and the bathroom is the last room that I did for this build. I always do my bathrooms last. I really need to start doing them first because I feel like they are the rooms that I dread doing the most. But I found like with this bathroom, it was a little bit more fun because I was able to like give it a little bit of personality, I feel like. And I think the original bathroom that came with this apartment, it was a lot smaller. And I was able to make this bathroom a lot bigger because I had to fit the litter box in it. And I also wanted to include a shower bath combo. And I feel like this shower that came with parenthood I think it's like one of my favorite showers because I just like how it comes with many different swatches and designs for the shower curtains and I forgot to mention but there is a laundry basket in the bedroom that you can get rid of because I didn't include a washer or dryer in this apartment and I did that intentionally because I feel like it's pretty realistic that you probably wouldn't have a washer and dryer of your own in this apartment like most likely they would have like a communal washer and dryer downstairs or something or you would just have to go to the laundromat which I plan on like if I play with this apartment I'll have my sim go to the laundromat that I I did build an, a laundromat at I think and it should already be up on the gallery I think it's like a cafe with a laundromat on the side so it's like another multifunctional lot I think I did a speed build of that build a really long time ago and I'll if I can remember I'll put it in a link to that in the description down below but we are approaching the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you like this apartment you can download it off the gallery I'll put my gallery ID down below in the description. The thing with apartments though is that you're not able to actually upload apartments onto the gallery so I had to delete the walls to make it an entire room for in order to put it on the gallery. But I hope you enjoyed this video, like this video if you did and if you haven't done so I would also appreciate it if you subscribed and I hope to see you in a future video.